Welcome to the Building Fortification Tutorial version 2. This mod is about securing buildings to take shelter in and or live in. We will cover the three buildable items included in this mod, that being the small window barricade, the medium window barricade, and the door barricade. With much more to come including the double door barricade, the industrial door barricade in various sizes, and traps and defensive buildable items in the future. I hope you folks enjoy this and please see the timestamps in the description for specific parts of the video on buildable items. Now let us begin. So the first item we're going to start with is a small window barricade kit. To make the small window barricade kit, you're going to need two sticks and a rope. You can use the same materials to make all of the other kits inside of this mod. Let's go ahead and make the kit and look through all of the options to make, show you that you can do that. Now let's go ahead and craft the kit. Now that it's done crafting, uh, we can take it into our hands and place it. If we wish to make a medium window barricade kit, all we have to do is change to change kit and click and we can do it. Now as you can see here, we have the inside and outside of the area being shown so you can know where to place it and what is inside and outside. Let's go ahead and place this. Make sure that your vanilla settings are proper before you place it. If you have trouble placing it, please check your vanilla gameplay settings. Now that we have placed it, Let's go ahead and get started putting this together and building this window barricade. All right, so once you have placed your window barricade, you're going to need seven planks, 36 nails, one metal sheet, and one log stick to completely build it up. So I have um, nicely spawned in all of the things we need. So we'll attach our planks, our nails, as they are the first stage. And then we're going to get to building Once you finish building, your window barricade kit should fall on the ground and you should be able to pick it up and build again. We're going to breeze through these stages real quick. Now once you have built the plate, you can do one final stage, which is you can take a long wooden stick, two nails, and a pair of pliers and you can build the stick prop, which will allow you to open and close the metal shutter. Finally, after doing all of that work and making it open and closable, well, there's one final piece that you can build for this and it's completely optional, as well as all the stages in this um, are completely optional as well. And that is the burlap curtain. The burlap curtain is five burlap strips plus a sewing kit to make a curtain that you can put onto your window barricade. If you take the burlap curtain, which is going to be a burlap cloth, and you can place it inside of the curtain mount area. If you place it into the clo um, closed curtain, you can see here that it fully covers the window barricade. If you put it in the open the slot, you can see it is rolled up. Currently, there is no option through actions to do this. But if you walk up to the thing and look out, you can see that you can barely see out. But the further you walk back, the harder it is to see the, for the, through the burlap curtain. This is done on purpose to give people inside of houses the optical advantage to be able to see enemies outside of their house with the enemies having a harder time seeing them. Do note that light can come through this thing and it uh, blends in almost really well with your window barricades metal slot. You put them here, you can see that you can still see out of there even with the burlap curtain attached. One of the cool and unique features about the window barricade itself, if your server allows bullet, explosive, and melee raiding damage on your window barricades, is if someone starts to shoot at you through the window while you're looking through the window, you can quickly back up, pull out your gun, and just pop the stick and automatically close your window barricade, making it so you have proper cover. Now we're going to get into the fact that the Window Barricade is fully destroyable with all vanilla mechanics. That includes firearms, explosives, and melee damage. The melee damage can be controlled by your server, so please uh, see them for uh, percentages or other things if they wish to disclose it. Next item we'll be covering is the Medium Window Barricade. It's so larger than the Small Window Barricade, it doesn't have the ability to open and close, but it still features plates and boards. 
The Mia Window Barricade Kit can usually be made using the same two sticks and the rope that you use to make the Door Barricade Kit or the Small Window Barricade. One of the cool things about the medium window barricade kit and the small window barricade kit is you can actually scroll wheel to change kit, left click, and you can literally change between the kits. But once you have the medium window barricade kit, as you can see, we have the template of inside interior and the outside exterior labeling. Once you have done that, all you have to do is walk up and place your medium window barricade kit where you see fit. The medium window barricade kit was created to help players cover up larger windows that the small window barricade kit necessarily couldn't cover up. So the medium window barricade kit requirements are you need to have a hammer, 30 nails, 40 planks, and four sheet metal to fully build it. However, you are not required to have all of those materials to fully um, to build up the medium window barricade partially. So let's go ahead and throw all of these items in here and then let's build it up. Now do know when you get to this stage you have a choice of building the upper metal plates or the lower metal plates. You are not required to build one for the other. And the medium window barricade kit folks or the medium window barricade itself can take explosive firearm and melee damage just like vanilla. The values are set and your server owners can control how much of the percentage of damage is done to the things making them either stronger or weaker than intended. So let's go ahead and get started with the door barricade kit to be able to craft the door barricade kit you're going to be able to need a rope or two sticks, or you can take your window barricade kit, toss off the rope, and then you can just recraft the kit. Once you have done this, all you have to do is combine the sticks or the rope with the sticks, and you can make the door barricade kit. All of the recipes for my kits use the same two things, two, kit, uh, two sticks and one rope, making it very easy to transition between all three of them without having to go and find new sticks if you do not want to. Now what you can do is, as you see here, we have an inside and we have an outside showing you what, where to place it and when to place it. Do note that in the future, this will hologram will be a toggleable feature for you server owners out there, as well as for players who want a more immersive placement system. Please note that if you cannot place these things in here, please check your server vanilla placement settings in the gameplay Dot JSON or use build anywhere. As you can see here, we have a beautiful hologram that once again will be seeable or not seeable once you place it based on server settings in the future. And then we can start to build upon it. All right, to get started to build, be building your door barricade, you're going to need three tools. You're gonna to need a shovel, a hammer, and pliers. The materials you're gonna to need to build your door barricade is two logs, 10, wooden, 10 small wooden sticks, 18 planks, 40 nails, and two metal plates, and a metal wire. This is to build the outside of your door barricade, just like you would build a vanilla fence gate, except for, of course, it's smaller. Now, if you wish to go further, the additional requirements for building the interior layers is 10 planks, 20 nails, and two more metal plates. You can also build an additional protection called the crossboard holders, with additional two planks and six nails. We'll cover what that does later. But if you want to build it just like the vanilla thing, it only takes 40 nails in its um, to build the outside layer. And to build up the full door barricade in its entirety, it takes less than a package of nails to build. The reason why you might want to be building more layers is each layer slows down slash changes the course of bullets being shot through them if people allow base damage to be applied. So let us go ahead and throw all of the items into it and let's start building it up.
now that you have the outside built, let's go ahead and go outside just to give you an idea of what this looks like when you only build the outside layers to make this a door. Now, mind you, you're not being forced to make a door. As you probably saw with me building, I had lots of options of what parts I wish to build, and you can build in any number of way you wish to. You can uh, stuff, but the frame has to be built. But as you can see out here, you can go here, and you can go go up to, you can't see the lock from the outside, but if you go up here, um, can't attach a lock from the outside. But if you go inside, you can see it takes a combination lock. It takes a vanilla combination lock being the three dial and the four dial. It also takes the code lock from code lock by room service and the code locks from expansion. Now let's go ahead and finish building this all the way up and you can see the rest. So as you can see here, we have a fully built door with multiple layers of protection and we're able to open and close it. You go on the outside, you can see what it looks like from the outside. It looks like a pretty hardy door. Bullets do penetrate through this door and can do damage to the players on the other side. So the more layers you have, the better, because the more layers it goes through, the more, uh, more it slows down the bullet and does less damage to the player as well as the layers on the inside. Now, this door is easily lockable from the inside or the outside. All you have to do is take a basic combination lock, throw it on there, and then when you close the door, you can have a beautiful locked thing. This mod does work in tandem with the code lock. Let me just drop this tile before I keep talking real quick. Just a second. From expansion and from room service. Now, one of the cooler features of this mod is that you have these three hooks here. The three hooks take a item called a notched plank. The notched plank can be uh, made by taking a handsaw and a plank, and you can create yourself a notched plank. A notched plank makes it so if someone were to drop the combination lock off of your door, that the door would not be openable from either side as long as the notched plank is attached. You can only attach items from the inside, as I am showing here. Once the notch plank is attached, even if the combination is dropped, you cannot open this door. As you can see here, this is a double-sided sword protecting people while they log off in their bases, as well as possibly making it so if a raider if a raider raids your base while you are out looting, they can easily put this in here, and you will have to shoot slash blow your way through your own base to get into the base to stop the intruder. Also makes it hard to get out if you are trying to raid people or are being raided. But this folks is the door barricade. I hope you folks are excited to work with the new config. Let us begin. All right, so let's get into the config that can, you can use to control my mods damage values done to the items as well as some other cool features to truly fit your server how you want it to. It is located inside of your profiles folder inside the building fortifications and there's going to be a JSON called fortification settings. Line 2 in this example config version is just the config version that allows me to push updates to the mod as well as update your profile without overriding your custom settings. It just allows me to add in new options for you to twiddle with without overriding your old ones. Three allows you to disable the rating tool. This is the old fashioned rating system from vanilla that where you used to use sledgehammers, wood axes and other items. And it was a timed action. And then when that time got done, it would destroy one part of a wall. This it re enables that action. And by default, it is turned on. The raid destroy part time is how long that old action based park destroy system worked. The default is two minutes. Feel free to disable the rating tool if you wish to or adjust the time how you see fit. Enable destroy logs does exactly that. It tells you who shot the wall, what explosives they used, you name it. It even tells you if they use the old fashioned rating system inside of your ADM logs, which can be found also inside of your profile folder. If you are using a game host, please consult them to find out where those logs are being put. Six through eight is the damage controlled for the small window barricade and the medium window barricade. 
The default values for this is 100 on all three of these. Firearms, explosives, and melee damage. If you change these to be lower, it will do less damage than at 100. Let's say a bullet, um, a Winchester bullet does 100 damage. You set this to be 50, it would do only 50 damage. This is a percentage of the overall damage the item can do. So it makes it harder for you to destroy the parts when you're shooting with these items if you lower the percentage below 100. And the same goes for 10 through 12 with the door barricades. Right now it only affects the door barricade because I have no other door barricades. But in the future I do plan on making it so the um, industrial door barricades and the double residential door barricade also follow this suit. The last one is the disable base damage. You can turn this on. However, I would suggest going into your server dz.cfg, turning off base damage inside of there. That guarantees that my mod, along with vanilla, both work together. And that, folks, is the fortification settings.json. I hope you folks really enjoy my mod. Please, if you enjoy my content, the mods I make, the videos I do, please give me a like, subscribe, or just leave a kind comment in the sections or give me some feedback. My Discord's always open and I'm happy to hear anything from you. I look forward to hearing from you folks and have a wonderful day.